Hello, everybody. You can call me cool. I had to think about this one for a while. If you're, you know what? I'm tired. I don't want to die anymore. Like stuff. So we're playing this game. Yep. Let's go with it. Eh. So here we go. Since we're on this track, we're just gonna go over to um, if whatever his name was, Aldrich. Kill that guy. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna finish this game in this episode. Just watch. We're probably also gonna get invaded. Why? Because this place is very is very potent for invasions. Trust me. I'll be surprised. I'll, I'll be surprised if we don't. Ow. Actually, recently I just got all. Recently I got all the achievements for Dark Souls on one of my characters. It took me a while, but I did it. Yeah, I got the achievement the Dark Soul, which is when you get all the achievements. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I never really shared it with anyone. But hey, I'm sharing it with you guys now. So here we go. Can we just go down here? Keep moving. Here we are. Pull the lever and then we wait. It's gonna take me a moment to kill Aldrich, I can already tell. So maybe wondering, well, why don't I use a bigger sword? No, I don't want to. Anyway, though, there's also a certain armor set that I want to get down here, so I'm just gonna go grab that quickly. By like going down this way. Yeah, I still don't know what this is. I still don't know why this, like, why is it just like an invisible bridge? Hi, Yorshka. Here we go. Grab it. Do I have enough, uh, large titanite, I think? I might. Let me check. Yep, that's enough. You can now uh, level up this thing to a uh, plus four. I think it's that much better. You, level up. Uh, endurance. And then go. And here we go to uh, the other guy. It's been five minutes. Oh yeah, and also put on a shirt. It's time for eh to have a shirt. Why did I go over here? Oh, did I not? Oh wait, did I not? <laughs> Okay, I see what I did there. Oops, I forgot. Oh, that kind of sucks. Well, whatever. It's got to run through here again. Hang on. Fast forward it. You do a fast forward. Okay, we're back. Anyways, there may be something else I want to get too while I'm at this. The uh, green crest shield. Just so that uh, I don't even know if I, I might not even have the strength to hold it, but we'll see. You never know, after all. Moving on. Yeah, trust me, the entirety of this game will be done today. Or at least the base game. Base bosses. Base bosses. Heading up. And then, we jump down here. Up. Oh, maybe not. We go this way. Down, ow. Down here. You know, after playing through Dark Souls 1, and seeing all this area, and just remembering what it was before, you know, it really, I don't know, it just, it's kind of depressing, because this, this was the way to ONS. This guy is in the way of Ornstein and Smo. I got, I gotta say, I, I could, I gotta say though, I feel like, I feel like this cathedral looking area place thing is a lot smaller than ONS. At least it feels smaller. Ow. Anyway, continuing. This'll be, this, 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 this is gonna be simple, just watch. Hi. Not again, what's with you know, usually don't do two arrows. Yoink. No, no, not you. Go. Nope. Or over here. Nope. Dagger. He can. <laughs> he'll never defeat me. I've got a dagger on me. Then the dagger is the only thing I really need. Oh, he's in Cinder's mode. What if I played that mod? Would you guys want me to play the Cinder's mod? Let me know. Cause I mean, <laughs> honestly, I'd love the challenge. I feel like I would like really like it, but at the same time, I feel like I wouldn't. Where is he? Uh, I know that's one YouTuber, Prod, I think it was, played it. And I mean, like, I, I watched his, I watched the full playthrough, and honestly, he was, he did really good. He's a really good Dark Souls player. And I do enjoy his content. Check him out, by the way, if you have, if you don't know who I'm talking about. It's quite an easy name to remember. I think he does Twitch stuff, too, so follow him there, too. Get over here! Ah, I might want to give it a go. It looks interesting. Whee! I do like a challenge. I don't know, I have, I have... I have a deep fascination when it comes to uh, like Dark Souls and stuff. I always loved, I love the games, and I like the people who like. Oh no! I like the people who like play the games, and I like it. I like the people who like make the lore videos. I don't know. Two of which I like, I like a lot are uh, the old man Limit Bra Limit Breaker. Is that what he's called? I think so. And uh, Vati, he's someone who I who I watch a lot of Dark Souls like lore on. They're pretty cool. Anyways, he's dead now. Now I keep going. It's been 11 minutes. Oh yeah, and how could I forget a uh, fighter PL? He's uh, he's also really good at Dark Souls. Like he, he's pretty good at parrying. Uh, yes, visions of chest. It's a lot smaller than I remember. Anyways, though, continuing. 
put this up a couple slots and then we are good to go i'll get to, i'll get to my dexterity and strength later anyways there's one more area i want to go to quickly and that's the crucifixion woods there is something there i want to get oh yeah i also love watching nems nems is pretty cool too i i've been wanting to watch his uh all weapons uh speed run thing where he just goes through every single weapon i think i'm halfway through <laughs> he's cool they're all cool i love dark souls here it is grass crest shield can i hold it oh i can that's just, oh, I wasn't expecting that, but okay. Because with this, I can, uh, my regen is a lot faster. So anyways, next up, we head over to the distant, distant manor. That's what it was. All right, cool. I should probably go back at some point just to grab the, uh, just grab some more green blossoms. So yeah, there is a skip that I know of here, and I will show you guys it quickly. Uh, we're gonna ignore Alva. We don't need to worry about him. For now, though, we just need to light this, and then we just need to keep going. You don't really need to be too precise with this bit. It's actually quite easy, and you only need to do just a singular thing. I talk a lot more in Dark Souls. I love Dark Souls. So it's actually right over here. Who did I learn this from? Fight I think I learned it from Fighter. Fighter PL. I think that's who I learned it from. Alright, so first of all, you go down here, and it's right here. You see where this message is? Try plunging attack. You don't really need to do a plunging attack. You just need to do a roll like this. Yeah, come on. Yes. It's actually just at the right spot. And then after that, you can just go down and then you can just make your way down that way. Where we will then meet up with a gargoyle. We'll then run around the gargoyle or at least try to. And then we will make our way to Yorm. And we are good to go. I tried jumping over here at one point, but I don't think you can actually do that. I think you actually do need to just go down the ladder, go up the ladder. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. Luckily, there's no bone, sh bone shards or whatever down that way. Speaking of bone shards, I missed one in uh, Irithyll. Ah, whatever. I'll get it later. There we go. <laughs> Ever just stopped to look at who this guy is? Guess who this is? It's our dear Laddersmith from Dark Souls 2. Aww. Anyway, let's get going. Gilligan! It's Gilligan. Laddersmith Gilligan. Anyway, though. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Please excuse me. And now it's time for Yorm. Here we go. Hi, Yorm. Hi, Yorm. Grab this, because we're going to need it. And then while he's swinging, go into my inventory, go over here, grab it, do this, do that, done. And then uh, start cheesing his AI by making him do a specific move. Ow. That's not the move. Make him do a specific move. That one. That's the move we want him to do over and over again. Oh, no. Boom. Then after that, get close, get close. There he goes. He does it again. And then we do it again. And this is really, this is how I beat, this is how you really beat Yorm really easily and really quickly. Then once he does that, what I like to do is I just like to wait for a moment just until he gets back into his regular animation. Because the slash won't work if not, and then I use it. Ow. And that's that. Let Fight. it make him do the, ow, or he's just going to do that. Nope, not close enough. There we go. About here. Never mind, that was way too close. Yeah, you get too close, he's going to do that. It's a good way if I'm actually like, there we go, he's doing it again. And down. Ow. One more hitch is all it takes. Or he's just gonna do that again. It's gonna make it take longer. Cool. Thanks. Do the thing. There we go. Ow. Bye, Yorm. I'm sorry. I'd be your friend. Here we go. Skip cutscene because now we're at the dancer. The dancer took me a long time to like perfect and figure out the moves of. Made it difficult. It's been 21 minutes. <sighs> I guess I'll. I guess I'll fight him. Fighter. Why not? Whatever. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's dance. Ow. Here we go. Need to focus a lot on this. Just because, you know, dance is very unpredictable. Never quite know what they're going to do. Although they do give a lot of good times, except for a few moves where they don't. They're like, they give you a second. I, th th this is why I like the dagger. This is one reason why I love the dagger. Just because it's quick. It is not a whole lot of end lag. I think that's what it's called. And so you can easily just do, do your attacks, do your swipes, and then run away. And then after that, we need to run back quickly. Oh, that wasn't very that wasn't very long. And phase two is always the one which I found a lot very difficult with the dancer. Swoosh. Here we go. Yoink. Ow. No. I'm good. Uh oh. That was one move which always killed me before. Actually, there were two specific moves. That was one of them. This isn't one of them. Ow. No. No. Stop. 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 Okay. Good. That's one of the moves. That was one of the moves which they usually killed me at. Ow. Anyways, it only takes me one more hit. There we go. Next up, we just head back quickly because I need to get a few things. And then we'll uh, get to Lorien and Lothric and beat this game. Yep. Won't be long now. This looks like a good amount. 34? Sounds good to me. Cool. Next up, we'll start working on our dexterity and whatnot. But for now, though, we have one over here in the in the Church of Yorshka behind a gravestone. 
And yeah, here we go. I don't know, it should be fun. Also, by this point in time, we should have 14 S Estus flasks, I think, right? Let me check. I, I might I might have grabbed some and not done anything with them. There is a possibility. Only one. Where did I did I miss some? Did I miss some? Because I can only think of one. Oh! I just remembered! Hang on, uh, hunter charm, hunter charm, hunter charm. Where are the hunter charms? Did I not grab them? Hang on, there's a- <laughs> I missed some things. Please hold, please hold. Alright, what did I miss? Where, where is it? First, uh, how do you get this? By the mangrove sold for the paladin's ashes. I didn't grab that yet? Well, it looks like we have a few areas we need to go first. Yeah, we need to get the paladin's ashes from over here. Hi there. Please be parried. Stop it. Go away. Bye bye. So now with this, we can go back over here to Firelink, give it to the shrine, handmaiden, get the stuff, go back to the dungeon, get this Estus flask there, go back over to the dancer, get the other Estus flask there, give it back to this guy, then go our way over to the final boss and whatnot. But anyways, next up is we need this. With a hunter charm, we'll be able to get it, get one of them from the mimic. The mimic is where we want to go to. That guy's fighting with claws and has a hat on his head. Here we go. I'll get back to you guys once I get them. You don't need to hear me just go on, go on when I about getting them. See you guys in a moment. Incoming! All right, we got them both. Dang, it might actually be four episodes. Tell you what, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get to uh, Lorien and Lothric by the end of this. However, I will say that I will be able to get to um, Ludex Gundir and get the uh, get the other stuff. And I can easily take down Ludex Gundir and also uh, what's his bucket. So we'll go do that. It'll be fun. Probably anyway. Let's do this. Starting off with that guy. Hi. Hi. There are some titanate chunks I can get here for the dagger, so I might get those too. I can slow down for a moment. I know how. First things first though, we need to go down here. And after that, grab this. And then the next one is up this way, which I usually grab as I go I along like and as I dodge this guy. Those are usually the only two I grab, just cause they're just cause they're there. And then we go down here. As these guys start running towards me. Here you are. Uh Cyros. Skip. Here we go. Let's do this. Just stay close to him. Ow. Just stay as close as you can. Whenever he does that, just go to the tail. You can get some shots in from the tail. So yeah, stay close. That's what I do. You know, while he spams that move. We don't need to hear you speak. I don't care about your invisible child, which is actually there, but isn't because they wanted to take it out because they figured it'd be too gruesome to watch him. Well, you'll see. Do you, do you really think you can take care of you can just sleep me and my dagger? I beg to differ. The power of my dagger is way too strong for you, Osiris. See what I mean? So yeah, what he does... Because there was a model for it, and it looked like some weird grub. Anyways, just keep slashing him and stay behind him. That's how you beat him. The head is not what you want to aim for mainly. You want to get behind him. Going underneath him is a very good strategy in doing this. See what I mean? You can easily get through him from there. So yeah, if you ever have troubles with this guy, just remember to try to stay underneath him. Ow! That's another move I hate when he does. He does that weird charging move. Where it's just, there's no warning to it either, he just does it. Roll forward when he does that. Roll forward, move forward, keep at him. Take that. Not that easy to defeat me, I mean. Maybe in PvP, I, I don't know. I don't have the best equipment in PvP. Ooh, glad I did that. All right, keep charging around. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Continuing. Ow. This sure is nice. There's one boss in Dark Souls that I fight, and it's almost like the Zen, the sort of thing that goes on, I guess, when I do it. And that's the uh, twin princes from the from the uh, um, the Ring City thing. I don't know why fighting them is just uh, it's it's a, just a, such a nice time to think. Anyways, he's dead. We will now finish off this episode by fighting off Gundir, I guess. This really wasn't my plan at first, but eh, whatever. Why not? This way uh, we can go through the 
archives and everything all in one episode. So, yeah, let's do it. Hi there. Hang on, Caestus. Go. Gotcha. Goodbye. See you again. Cool. Going forth. Grab this, I guess. Make our way through this wall. Go down here to the untended graves. Rest here for a moment, just so I can refill Estus. It's been 40 minutes. Grab this, because you know it's, it's literally in the way. Then we keep going until we run past everything. See you at the fog wall. Who's next up? Put on the Flynn ring for fun. Grab the Caestus up and uh, watch the parry. Doink! Come back. Parry. Yep, this is gonna be quite easy. Boink! You're mine. Take down. I think this is about the time. Yep. Roll back twice. Parry. Now he's gonna get faster. But, <laughs> you can still parry him. That That's the part that never gets difficult. It's just, no, just when he does this stuff. Parry. You can all, it's really his halberd which you parry, as far as I'm aware. Boink, simple enough. Punch, shove, up, parry. No damage against Champion Gundir. Well, that's not true anymore. Whatever. He's dead. Goodbye. See you again. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. While I'm talking for this ed for this outro, I'll just go grab the Horner Ring, grab the the other stuff, and but yeah, more videos coming next week. If you like this, and want to see more of it, want to see me complete the game. Five likes, ten videos, I'll play it again. Take care, everybody. Have a great day and a great weekend. And I'll see about getting that moth guy in involved. If you haven't seen my other videos about that, here I'll put him up right now. This guy's gonna be my new YouTuber model at some point. I don't know when, but at some point. Bye.